Littlewood Behind the Scenes. Episode number 12, New Homes Part 1. Knock Knock Who's There, it's Knock Knock from the Knock Knock Who's There channel. And what I have for you today is a residential complex, basically. So it's going to consist of many different homes from many different styles. Anyway, I'm rambling on here, but there's going to be many different styles in this. So let me get into first person and explain the materials we're using. Here's some block of royal gold. Brown and green stained glass panes representing little wood. We've got some cobblestone as well, that's for the pathways. And then we're going to do some street lamps out of spruce fences and of course sea lanterns. One of probably the most used blocks I use in little wood. Okay, let's get there then. We've been building around this area recently and we are building pretty close, but it's not going to be around this area. Also, if you didn't see the last big TV, which I'm sure most of you watching this one would be, you would have noticed that, but first, this is what I want to show you. So, I've made a list of influence blocks over the years, from 2019 to 2024, even though 2024 hasn't happened yet, and we've only been in a few days of 2023. So basically, just marks it through there, and I'd say that's pretty much right. So let's get into there, if I can get through the door that is. So over we go, uh, that's presidential station, new presidential station that is. Uh, don't know why the doors open, actually close that, there we go. Um, so where we're going to be building, it's not going to be there, it's not even going to be on this grass over here, but it's going to be adjacent to this, which is called Mystic Fountain Park. Okay, so this basically area hasn't been grounded out yet, but without further ado, let's jump into it. So here I'm going to just wander mindlessly over the void. No, I'm not. I'm going to put out some grass blocks. I'm just going to place them all around like this. Uh, this will take some time though, so I think once I'm done with I don't know, next row or two, I might just cut ahead of this. So it's basically just going to go all the way to that edge over there. If I can place them properly, that is. So there's that. And some more place over there. And then we're just going to kind of get ready for this. So I think, I think I'm going to cut ahead of this part here. Okay, I am back, and I'm going to get ready to start on the next big thing we're going to do. So, time to get out the cobblestone. This is going to make a little footpath, pathway, pavement, whatever you like to call it. And I'm just going to make a hole right there. I'm going to make it a free gap over there, and I'm just going to fill that in with cobblestone. And that can go to just about eight blocks of the end. It should be symmetrical to that. So just keep going there. And I'm also gonna monitor how far I go just so I don't crash into the end. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep doing this. A bit awkward. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I think I will measure just how far it is. Once I'm done with this layer, so let's see. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight over there, and there should be an eight gap from that side as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight over there. So that's as far as it needs to go. That's as far. I don't actually know what direction it is. I think that that's as far south as it can go. I think I should check a compass. <laughs> anyway. I guess I'll head down this way now. Again, doing a free by by as how many long as you want it. Just a free gap over there, and I'll link up to those grass blocks. I might even just yeah, I'll just get rid of these because in in following parts, I'm going to do more parts of the complex, 
and the path's going to continue through there. Okay, so is that done? Time to move on now to the next part, building some trees. Now I'm going to put in some of this grass, and I'm just going to make it a free gap, just like how the 3x3 pathway is. Well, not 3x3, three three, the free block pathway. Well, hang on. There we go. So, just make a gap there. Well, actually, yeah, I do have to get rid of this because I'm also going to be using it for that. And there we go. So, there's three. And again, three block gap through here. Jolly good. There we go. Just make sure that's a free gap as well. To the edge. There we go. Three by three. And this one two, three by three. <laughs> Not three by three, I mean three block. So there we go. Just continue those grass blocks going. And I'll go all the way to the end. And I'll also make sure this is a free block gap as well. Because after all, I just want it to be a bit more symmetrical, I guess you could say. No, well, not symmetrical. I think more organized is the word. So there we go. And now I'm going to fill it in with the next big thing coarse dirt. And why coarse dirt? That's because it's dirt that can't actually can't actually grow into normal grass. So if I use something like this, it'll just give the illusion of dirt. And I see often in like playgrounds that I use things like tan bark, which kind of has kind of like a coarse dirt feel. And that's what I'm just trying to recreate here. So that's why I'm using coarse dirt. There we go, and that's just going to basically fill in the gap that I've made. But, well, the free block gap, not the free by free gap, that's something completely different. So, just two more rows to go, fill it up to. I can stop making messes there. there we go, and one more row to go. Done. Okay, time to fill in this part now. And so there's that. Just gonna get it in there. Cover both of them up. Hmm, it's actually getting night now. That, that's actually surprisingly quick. I thought it was actually gonna be a bit lighter for most of the day, but it seemed. Time flies by when you're building things. Okay, final layer, there we go. Okay, so there's that done. Okay, up next on the cards, if you can't see what I'm doing here, I'm putting down spruce fences and sea lanterns. Now I'm actually yet to decide how high I want them. Uh, now I think that still looks a bit too low, so I'm just going to place it up yeah, I think, I think that looks fine, so I'm going to leave a free gap in between each, that's a bit low, okay, and so there's that, again, another free gap, I think I'll just place some of these down, okay, that, that should be good enough, I think, for now, just placing that, actually, no, you know what, I'll do the whole row. Okay, so there's that. Look, oh, no, that's not where it's supposed to go. Okay, there we go. And there, some spruce fence as well. It's gonna be six high. This is, and then the sea lanterns. But don't worry, the houses are gonna be bigger. And the style I am doing today actually is Chinese style because if you don't know, on the time that I'm uploading this, the 22nd. January, it's actually Chinese New Year 
day. So I think it's more than fitting to do Chinese style on a very special day for China. And if you don't know what Chinese style is, you've seen kind of like those temples that have the numerous roofs poking out. You, you get what I'm saying there? Well, I'm just going to try to imitate that basically with my block of gold and dark prismarine, as you can see in my inventory. But anyway, back to these lights, or maybe not, because I'm almost done with them. So there's, first, oh, that's not supposed to go there. Okay, and there's that one. And so now on to the next row. So there we go. Looking at my amazing work there. And I'm just going to leave a two gap in between that. If I don't keep mucking up, I should get that done. There we go. No, that does look a bit weird. You know what? I'm just going to cover them all in. And I'm just going to make it a, let's just say a mega light. A mega street light. I'm going to call this the mega street lights. Well, it's hard to do these lights on corners, but there we go. <laughs> Does that look good to you? Okay. So again, the three gaps, and another three gap, and there we go. I think that's all I'm going to be able to fit in to this one. I'm not going to try to extend the lamp further. I'll probably do that outside of the video. So there we go. Fences. Oh, missed it a few times there, but there we go. So there are those street lamps over there. Okay. So the next thing to do, I'm going to put some saplings in the middle of these. Oh, that's not the middle. Get rid of that. There we go. And I'm just going to pinpoint the middle on every one of these up to around about there. And now I'm just going to pinpoint the middle again. Now I'm just going to grab myself some bone meal because this basically just speeds it up. So there we go. I'm going to also step away before the tree engulfs me too. Okay, oh, broke one. Hopefully no one notices that. And there we go. Sure, some old shape, but that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Does that look like a relaxing spot to you? Okay, so there's that done. Just put those in the side along with other stuff I don't need. Okay, so now I'm going to build the houses. It's new or home. And you can't have newer homes without a home. Uh, don't know if I will use carpet. I think I'll just let it be for now. It's me quoting the Beatles there. The Beatles 1970. I'm sure most of you know who the Beatles are. So I'm just going to take some block of raw gold. And again, just keeping that three block gap between that and the, and the footpath. And I'm just calculating this. It should be 11 by 12. That's what it should be. So, yeah. 11 by 12. And I just want those edges to be slightly bigger. I don't want it to be exactly like a square. Just like an almost symmetrical rectangle. So, just link that up with that. And put in that. Leave those free block gaps there and put in the raw gold. Okay, so there's that. Just gonna now find my entrance area. Um, that's not electrical. I think I need to put in another one. Yeah. Okay, and so I'm just gonna put in cobble deep slate there. And there we go. So there's that. I'll have my doors at the hand ready. How very handy, I guess I can say. Um, oh, I actually don't think I'll do this out of old deeps. I think, think yeah, I 
think I'll use birch plank for thick. Just to give it a more comfortable feel, I think it'll be pretty uncomfortable just standing on stove all day. <laughs> so, just put some of those birch planks down, cover the whole area, this stair bit, again down there, and down to there. There we go. So, there's that surface area cupboard. Okay, so now I'm just going to make the windows brown on that side, green on that side, then the opposite on this side, kind of like a mirror image. And then I'm just going to cover both, I'll cover that part as well. And now I'm just going to create this green brown pattern over here, as you can see, all the way up to there. And I'll do the same on the other side, but on this side, this is going to be where the stairs is all... No, uh, so, <laughs> so this is going to be the side where the stairs are. And now I'm just going to cover everything up with a fourth and fifth layer. So this is the fourth layer around here. And this is the fifth layer. I'm just going to do that. And what the intention is in here is to have basically four floors. And the top floor is like the lookout area, even though you probably can't look out over a lot from this area because, I mean, you've got cinema over there, Tongakorp apartments. But I think you can look pretty clearly somewhere else there. Uh, Anyway, I'm talking a bit too much because now I'm just going to put in the first roof. And this is what I mean when I'm talking about the multiple roofs thing, if you got any part of that. So basically, I'm putting dark prismarine as the roof and I'm just going to let it spread out by two. That's kind of like what you see in those kind of ancient Chinese buildings. So I'm just going to extend it out by two. And see a few villagers have come to watch. And just because this is going to take a while, I'm going to cut ahead of the rest of it. So I'm done with the ring. So with that, see you soon. Okay, I am back, and it's night time, perfect time. There's one of the houses, it's supposed to be a bit smaller. Actually, no, the roof's bigger than the house right over there. And kind of to the end of this path, there you can see all my lovely tree layers. And I gotta say, it looks pretty vibrant around here, especially at night. It's really cool to see these street lights, I guess, light up the sky. Let's see. So the final thing I'm going to do is smooth quartz blocks and this is just going to mark it as new homes and what the area is. So let me put it up at the top, new or homes, I'll put them all in capitals. And then right below I'm going to just say Chinese style houses or homes anyway so there's that done so this is the Chinese style done so there it is lovely buildings and with that I guess there's just one last thing to do in this and that's just to plant down some red tulips Okay, I think that's about it for that, so now I'm just going to head back to the centre because you know what the final thing of any BTB episode is. So, this is Knock Knock Who's There, signing off from Littlewood. There's just one last thing for me to say, see you soon.